So you've just started a new mage build and you want to be overpowered early. This is a beginner's guide for you. You'll start out with the astrologer class and get the golden seed as your starting item so you can level up your health flask later. Next we'll need to obtain the best staff. The best staff to get in Elden Ring early on is the Meteorite Staff. I'll be showing you the location in this video as well as a unique spell called Rock Sling, which kind of acts like a homing missile with an area of effect damage. We'll also be getting this armor set as well, but what's great is that you don't need to kill anything to get any of these items. And the damage you see me doing with my sorceries right now is only at level 8 using the Astrologer class and the Meteorite Staff. But the reason the Meteorite Staff is the best staff to get early in Elden Ring for Mages is because it has an S scaling in intelligence, meaning that you'll do a lot more damage with your spells versus any other staff you can get early on in Elden Ring. The S in intelligence scaling means intelligence based mages will do a lot more damage with all of their sorceries early game. However the drawback is that the meteorite staff cannot be upgraded at all. This means that later on in the game it will be outclassed by other staffs that can be upgraded. And of course I'll have location guides on where to find all of those staffs later on in the game linked below if you're interested. But obviously at the start of Elden Ring nothing compares to this staff's damage scaling. The meteorite staff also does additional damage when casting gravity sorcery spells like the rock fling spell which we'll also be getting in this video. So to get this staff early on here's what you need to do. Now if you've not already unlocked the map there's a guide on how to do that linked below in the description but from the first step resting spot you're going to unlock the second and then the third resting spot and then if you rest there you will unlock your mount and you can head down this path just here and all the way up this path over here and eventually you'll get here to the church of marica which is where i'm currently am on the map and now we need to go into this area so what we're going to do to get there is go up this cliff face. So if you just go ahead and mark a little point over here on the map. So from this resting spot I just showed you on the map, we're going to head north out of this church. And on that wall over there, you can see the point I marked. And you also see that there is a wind, which is going to essentially bring us to the top of this mountainside. And it's kind of just like an early game shortcut, really. So we're going to use this wind here and just jump within it, which is going to send us up the cliff face. And there are some wolves up here, but you can just easily run around them. And we're going to jump up this area just here. And then we're going to use this second burst of wind to jump up this cliff. And then we're going to do it again on this one, like so. And now we're on the very top of the mountainside. So you'll then be right here at the top of this cliff, just here on the map. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come north to this path and we're going to follow it all the way around and you'll come up to this first resting spot just over here. Continue along the path to this next resting spot and then continue along the path to the next one just over here, the smoldering wall. Then what we're going to do is we're going to follow the path all the way to the south. So here we are at that resting spot I just marked and we're going to go ahead and head over to our marker now. Just head literally straight down the path here. Then just on the left when you get to this tree you will find another resting spot just here. You can see we're now just here on the map. Now, if you look at where this golden line is directing us, we're literally just going to head directly east from this resting point, And then that's going to take us to the lake. You can see the resting point in the distance just down here. So now we're just here on the map. And by the way, if you want to unlock this area of the map, you're going to want to come over here to this little glowing sort of runestone just here to grab the map fragment. You can see it's at this tomb just over here. So directly north from the Swamp Shore resting spot, we're going to head to this ruin on the map. You will need to ride your horse across these waters since the swamp will poison you with scarlet rot otherwise if you're going on fit. I should also note that the meteorite staff requires 18 intelligence to equip so if you start with the astronomer class you'll only need to level up twice to actually use it. So head directly north into this first room where you'll find the traveler's armor set just here in the corner which you don't actually need but you may as well get while you're here. It also comes with a perfume bottle which has many other uses.
Next, to get the meteorite staff, you'll want to come directly west from this ruin, just here right on the edge of the swamp on the map. Now you don't need to kill these enemies when you get here, you can just bait them so they come outside and then walk past them because they move so slowly. Then you can pick up the meteorite star from this body bent over the window here. Next though, we're going to be getting the rock sling sorcery. To get this, mount up and head directly east back to the other ruin. Once there, you're going to want to turn and head north towards this abandoned ruined church. Ignore the enemies here and just head straight down the hidden tunnel. Run along to the bottom and open up the entrance, and inside you'll find a chest which has the rock sling spell within. You can either fight your way out or die at this point because you've got everything you need from the location. However, before you go, I suggest fast travelling back to the starting area, to the Church of Ella, here on the map, where you first meet the merchant. Once you port back, you'll find Renna waiting for you. Tell her that you are Torrent, the horse's new owner, and she'll give you the Spirit Cooling Bell and the Lone Wolf Ashes Summon ability. These wolves don't do a lot of damage in fights, but they are one of the best summons in the game for distracting enemies since there are multiple of them. Essentially how bosses will usually work with these wolves is once one of the wolves attacks them, the boss will then aggro that wolf. If you then attack them, they'll try and aggro you, and you have to wait for the wolf to attack them again so the wolves can take aggro. But they're fantastic for solo players who need to keep the heat off them. But just to demonstrate how powerful we are, we are only level 8 on the Astrologer class now, having put an additional 2 points into Intelligence so we can equip the Meteorite Staff. And we absolutely destroy this boss with absolutely zero effort required. But next we're going to be getting even more powerful spells, weapons and robes, so check out the next guide linked down below in the description to carry on creating the most powerful mage build in Elden Ring. And do subscribe if you find this series helpful.